So this is going to be the final video of the 2023 JDM Taco releases. And in my opinion, I saved the best for last because this reel has got me more excited than any of the other crazy taco that was released at this year's Japanese fishing shows. And big surprise, this reel is actually a Daiwa, not a Shimano. Now the kicker is this reel was not actually unveiled at any of the Japanese fishing shows. The rumor is that this reel is supposed to be unveiled in March. And that is going to be Daiwa's latest bait finesse reel, the 2023 SS Air TW. So Daiwa is resurrecting the SS Air badge. And here's a look at the handle side plate. Here's a look at the front. Here's a look at the top. And you sharp-eyed bait finesse guys can see that this reel is going to be based off of the more expensive Steez Air, not the cheaper Alphas Air. Just like the previous SS Air. So that means that this frame should be made of magnesium with more than likely Zion side plates. But check this out. This is the best view of the new SS Air. That's going to be the palm side plate. Look at that. So it looks like they moved the silver brake adjustment dial from the front to the back and they encase it in this very aggressive stylish cutout and this palm side plate looks better than anything on any of the other current Daiwa Bay Finesse reels very very stylish and then you got this little section here looks like it's been kinda cut out to give it more lines and angles but yeah let's take a look at this reel again from the top now you can see it pretty much looks like every other Daiwa Bay Finesse reel with the exception of that uh, brown Silver Creek custom reel. It's got a dark body with a red spool and from a distance you probably wouldn't be able to tell it apart from a Steez Air or an Alphas Air. But there are some differences and you can see that the spool is somewhat asymmetrically ported and that groove that's normally in the center of the spool has been moved to the left on this left hand model and I assume is going to be moved to the right on the right hand models. I'm not sure why they did that but one thing that's kind of disappointing is that they are keeping this plain black and what appears to be plastic zero adjuster knob just like the Alphas Air. And that's a big disappointment considering the price of this reel, which I'm going to go over later on. So you're probably wondering, this is probably just another version of the Alphas Air or the Steez Air with the same small 28mm spool and the same overbraked air brake system. So why am I excited about this reel? Well, let me show you why. Now in case I didn't mention it already, on the first day of the Yokohama Fishing Show, when Daiwa put up all their new taco releases on their website, this reel was actually uploaded to the website along with you know the new IMZ and all the other new releases, but then they quickly took it down. But some people saw it and saved some of the pictures. And that's how I'm able to show you these pictures of the reel. But all the information on its technology, new features and whatnot seem to be lost. And it's probably not going to be uploaded for probably another month or so. So if that's the situation, why would I be excited for yet another, what appears to be generic Daiwa Air BFS reel. And I'm going to show you why. And right here is a guy that looks to be a part of the clear blue Japan tackle company and he's actually got information on this new SS Air TW 
Now you can see here on January 19th, he tweeted it out showing a screenshot of Daiwa's actual web page. And unfortunately, Google will not translate his tweet. But then on the 20th, it looks like that information from Dai's webpage was gone. And he's got question marks on his tweet, wondering why. And it says here, there's also speculation that it was scheduled to be unveiled for the first time at the KeepCast 2023, which will be held in March. So we probably got another month before this reel is going to be unveiled. But luckily for us, this guy kept a lot of the important information on this reel. And here it is right here in yellow. Now the first thing is that it says further weight reduction of the 28 millimeter spool unit. So right now the Steve's Air and Alpha's Air, their spools are somewhere around 6.2 grams. So I expect the SS Air TW spool to be under 6 grams to combat the MDL3 spool of the 22 Aldebaran BFS. It's going to come with a drag clicker. Now the Alpha's Air did not have a drag clicker, but the Gekka Bijan did. And I'm not sure if the Steve's Air has one or not, but it will come with a drag clicker. For all you guys who insist on your BFS reels having one of those, it's going to weigh 145 grams and by comparison the Alphas is 160 so about half an ounce lighter but it's not going to be able to compete with the ultralight Aldebaran BFS so it's going to be probably around five ounces now here this is the most exciting part these next two sentences a new SS Magforce developed with the aim of improving cast feel achieves elongation in the latter half of casting with low trajectory casting then the last thing improve the side place for more compact grip all right so apparently Daiwa has swallowed their pride and they're tired of their bait finesse reels getting dominated in casting by the competition particularly Shimano's reels as I've proven in several cast battles and they've given this new SS Air what they call SS Magforce. And what I get out of this is that it's going to be similar to Shimano's new FTB where it's not going to be so heavily braked as the current air brake system on Daiwa's BFS reels. And it should give elongation in the latter half of casting with low trajectory casting. So these are pretty much the exact same words used to describe the 22 Aldebaran BFS. So obviously the Aldebaran was the target for this new SS Air TW. Now maybe that's why they moved that groove from the center to the side of the spool because the new brake system might be taking up a lot of the space on the other side. Maybe they are giving it some kind of a two-stage boost system like the SV Boost or the Mag4 Z Boost. We don't know yet but I'm excited to find out and I've already put my pre-order in even though Japan Lure Shop doesn't even know when this reel is coming out I told him to save me one and now let's get to the price it says suggested main unit price is 52,500 yen so it's not going to be cheap now compared to Shimano the Aldebaran is 49,900 yen and the Conquest is 59,000 yen. So this reel is probably going to be around 360 to 380 dollars when it comes out. So it's significantly more than the Alpha's Air and it's even more than the Gekka Bijan which was supposed to be the long casting bay finesse reel for Daiwa but I've proven that it can't hang with the Shimano offerings especially that 22 Aldebaran but yeah the Gekka Bijin is 48,800 yen so yeah finally Daiwa is moving in the right direction and not putting 
that horrible air brake system into this SS Air TW. Now the air brake system found in the SV spools and whatnot, it's not really horrible, but they have no place in any of Daiwa's mid to upper end reels. That's a beginner's braking system in my opinion. and has no place in their top of the line reels. And the good news is for us is that Daiwa is appearing to break away from that with this new SS Air. All right guys, so let me know what you think about this new SS Air. Are you going to cancel your Conquest BFS pre-order and wait for this to come out to see what Daiwa's got to offer? Or are you gonna do like I'm gonna do and buy both? Now once again, it's allegedly gonna be released at a show called KeepCast in March, and I'm eagerly anticipating its official release. All right guys, thanks a lot.